So I'm about to get into the drive line for the S15 build and I've got the Hilux here in the workshop and my plan is to pull the drive line out of that and repurpose it into the S15 for a little while. Now one of the things that I love about all of my cars is they all run the same motor and essentially the same motor can go into each different chassis. So this was one of the things that I had in mind when I built the Hilux and that's why I made everything uh, adaptable and easy to pull out and repair. So today I want to show you how easy it is to pull the motor out of the Hilux and swap it into the S15. You probably guessed this already, but I do all the mechanical work on all of my own cars. Making this work quick and easy is always in the front of my mind when designing and fabricating components. I can remove the front bumper and the doors without any tools as the bumper uses ball lock pins to secure it and the doors slip off the hinges by opening and lifting them up. The front guards use four M6 screws on each side that require a 10mm spanner to remove. The removable front end uses four Allen key bolts. It houses the grille, headlights and ducting to the intercooler. This intercooler uses two Wiggins clamps that feature toolless removal. The jiffy tight fittings on the engine block pull away easily as well and save any oil spilling from the oil cooler and oil filter, which are also mounted to the front end. A 10 mm spanner also separates the four M8 bolts, holding the fiberglass bonnet to the body. The next part that needs to be removed is the radiator. This connects to the SR20 with an AN20 lower hose and AN16 upper hose, which I welded onto the factory engine outlets. If you're interested in TIG welding, then I recommend you check out my skills course on this subject. It will get you up to speed with welding and all the knowledge and confidence to tackle your next project. With the radiator now removed, I can separate the oil breather lines from the rocker cover. I'm using alloy spanners on the alloy fittings so that I don't scratch or damage them. These don't need to be too tight as they seal on a taper. The oil breather lines use AN10 fittings and the fuel lines use AN8. The wastegate and screamer pipe is removed via the single V-band clamp. Now the blade adjustable sway bar can be removed. This is a chromoly crossbar with Australian made V8 supercar blade adjustable ends that rotate to tune the stiffness and roll of the car. Instead of removing the lines off the power steering system, I will remove the pump off the motor and while I am there, I can undo the engine mounts. Now a few smaller items like the throttle cable can be removed before we shift into the cabin and take off the transmission tunnel covers. These allow me to take off the front exhaust pipe V-band clamp and remove the gearbox mounting bolts. Once the shifter is removed from the Quaife gearbox, we are ready to pull the motor out. I fabricated a set of stands that I can put under the chassis using the onboard air jacks. These make life really easy and are instrumental in the engine removal process. 
Fabricating your own parts does not have to stop at the car itself. There's so many ways that fabrication can help us around the workshop. When I was building this chassis, I lost count of how many times I had to fit and remove the engine and gearbox. I used some 50mm square tube and three caster wheels to produce this engine dolly. It slides into the engine bay and once the air jacks are pressured up, I can strap the motor to the dolly and then release the air jacks to suspend the motor and then carefully roll the whole assembly out. Now that the motor's out, I will strip it down, clean it up and service anything that needs to be repaired. Once that's complete, I can get it fitted into the S15. This will use the same ECU, PDM fuel pump, dry brake clutch fitting, dry brake oil cooler fittings, and all the sensors required to run the same 336 rear wheel kilowatt tune. Essentially, both cars will share the same driveline and electronics package, and I can't wait to get it all happening. You can get the complete story on all the builds that I've undertaken, such as this Hilux, and undertaking, such as this S15, at engineeredtoslide.com, along with heaps of downloads and skills to make your own tools and build your own projects. Thanks for watching. Thank you.